dear students we are back to the class of geometric design we have been discussing about the alignment and so far we have talked about many elements related to the alignment we talked about the horizontal alignment and we also talked about the vertical alignment and then towards the end in the previous interaction we have discussed about the cases that how the horizontal and the vertical alignment can be coordinated together so that you get a very good design which has a good perspective which has a good 3d view and these are the things which translates into the various types of guidances apart from this in the previous interaction we also talked about the hairpin bands and the design features related to the hairpin bands now once we have got the whole of this particular idea then let us try to see that if you have particular location and you are trying to visualize it and see that what are the problems which are there then those type of problems should not be there again and that is with that particular motive in today's interaction we are going to take it up the various design issues or the issues which have been found related with the signs and markings on different roads. So in this particular go through situation what we are going to look at is certain diagrams or photographs and then we will discuss about it and what are the things which have been shown in those and what are the peculiar issues in that and could have been rectified very easily so that there is no confusion in the mind of a driver and the movement remains smooth and safe. So in this area in this particular direction let us look at first of all this uh, figure or a diagram. Now this as we have discussed previously also has been taken from a DPR that is the detailed project report. Now this detailed project report is talking at two levels one is plan and another one is elevation and the change has been given in this direction. So all along the le length of this particular alignment how the profiles are changing in plan and elevation has been depicted. Now if you look at the plan so you have one curve here which can be defined by its radius r1 then there is another one as r2 then there is r3 then r4 r5 r6 so what you found is that in this particular segment if we are looking here in this segment we have three horizontal curves uh, maybe in a short distance only and if we look at this particular profile probably this profile could have been very easily being converted into a one single curve as the way I have depicted here. So we could have a good tangent line between the two curves and the reverse curves have been got separated by those particular tangents and therefore they give ample opportunity to the driver to adjust their speeds as well as the steering of the wheels to make the movement safer. In the same condition if we look at the elevation then what we found is that we have uh, one vertical curve here then another vertical curve on this one then there is again a uh, small deviations are there. So what you found is there are lot many such curves which are happening and here too if we have graded the natural ground then that natural ground could have helped us to get more or less a smooth straight profile and we could have omitted very easily v3 v4 v5 and were left with only v6 as a dip curve which is coming ahead at a certain location so when we looked at these type of things there is one possibility that we could have removed these horizontal curves as well as vertical curves so those things could have been removed and they could have been converted into a single or two curves and that is same for the vertical curves also and at the same time the coordination if we talk then this coordination would have become better because if you are now trying to see that how the things are getting overlapped so there is one curve here so there is a curve here there is a curve on this one so it is getting here and then the curve on this side now these things could have come on the simple graded line and could have given a better views say this is another photograph from a PMGSY road here what you can find is that there is a width 
of the carriageway is clearly defined and it is being shown and it is also having shoulders on both the sides. And then the marking has been done by way of uh, these type of uh, poles. So, it is trying to omit a situation that the vehicle goes out of control and goes into the field. So, that is uh, another good thing being done. But if the marking here in terms of the edge marking have been provided, then that would have been a further better thing. The another issue is that when you go ahead, what you found is that the road is taking a turns in this form. So, very easily this could have been resolved in this type of a curve. So, the reverse curve which are coming with the very small tangents in between and we talked about these type of things. In this particular case also it could have been omitted. So, there are some things which are good, but there is something which are missing and could have been improved on that. Now, this is another case. So, here what we found is a continuous long road is there. So, this is a long road which is going on and at this point there is a turning. So, it can be a probably a long tangent with a sharp curve condition appearing here. And apart from that, the visibility due to the this vegetation is also having a problem. So, you have a visibility problem due to vegetation. And if you look at the edge, so the edge has been defined in this form. So, there is no shoulder, shoulders are being omitted which are, should have been there and that helps if uh, the width of the carriageway is not much, then in that case if the two vehicles are coming from the opposite directions, that then the shoulder helps them to just cross each other or pass each other. So, two, three op uh, problems are there in this particular one though the road has been constructed in a right manner and uh, then this deficiency needs to be taken care of. Here again there is another case, what you find is there is a horizontal curve. So, this curve is taking a turn in this form. Now, depending on that what is the width of this particular road and what is this particular category of the road, we will have the design speed. and this design speed will provide us the safe stopping side distance. And this safe stopping side distance at the minimum level has to be maintained on a road section. So, if we assume that this road is going like this, so the clearance on this side as well as the clearance on the other side on this particular side. So, this should have been cleared. And if this has been cleared, it would have improved upon the visibility in this area and that is what we talk about a setback distance with respect to line of sight could have been ensured in a right manner. So, now this is another uh, issue which needs to be taken care of in this type of a alignment. Let us look at another such a uh, piece which is being taken from a report. Here what you can find is that uh, again there is a problem of a uh, number of uh, changes in the vertical profile. So, what we find is there are some straight sections, then there are curves. So, there is 1, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 curves are there in certain length and the uh, uh, the tangents which have been shown in some of the cases those tangent lengths are also not so high. So, we have a succession of uh, say the uh, valley curves and the summit curves and with the short tangents again this is going to create a problem. So, this needs to be rectified, this is another issue which has to be taken care of. Here also the same thing which you can see is that the profile is going on. And uh, though there is a natural ground level with respect to that the formation has been set up, but when this formation has been set up, then there would have been a possibility of uh, at least omitting this particular uh, summit curve which is coming here and we could have a simple gradient in a straight form at this particular location. So, this is uh, a possibility which could have been done in this uh, profile. 
okay. So, here also uh, because we also uh, we have talked about the depths, we have talked about that uh, how the things are changing with respect to the horizontal plans or profiles. So, that is what we are trying to visualize and see that whether it is looking good or not. Let us look at this particular road which is being constructed. What has happened is that the road is being constructed utilizing the natural topography of that area and this has resulted into the type of this profile. So, you have a profile wherein you are going in this form. So, this multiple curves if we look at here we can we could have very easily graded in this form. So, whatever is this extra piece of material is there the earth is there could have been removed and then a road could have been constructed, but now what it is trying to give you a feeling of a bumpy ride. So, while the design audits etcetera has been done then this should have been taken care of and should have been removed. So, that is uh, another thing uh, type of a thing which you have to visualize when you are planning about a certain road, when you are looking at a design of a road, when you are looking at the plans and elevations of a road that is it really ok or it is coming in a very successions, quick successions which are otherwise not permissible. Here also the similar thing is happening, the road is going up and down and up and at this point there is a dip. So, what we found is that now this road is if you are somewhere here you are not being able to find out what is happening from the other side. So, these are again the problems of uh, the fixation of the formation level. So, when we talk about the levels which have been taken along the alignment and transverse to the alignment then what we are trying to fix up is a formation level. And when we have fixed up this formation level then these things could have been very easily omitted, but nobody has taken care of it. Maybe I'd, it seems that uh, it has directly been laid and created and constructed. Now, in this case what we have is that there is a though it is being enlarged form, but it is coming in certain thing in terms of an optical dip which is there. So, if uh, we try to visualize it into a 3D form and uh, try to see it in terms of uh, the perspective of the driver in both of these cases what we found is that uh, it is all of a sudden going down and up and at the same time though it is not being shown on this uh, that uh, there is a horizontal curve which is going first of all left and then it is turning right. And if this type of a situation is happening when the both of these profiles are uh, coming together with each other then this is going to culminate into a jump perspective. So, this again needs to be taken care of. So, we have to look at in terms of an optical condition as well as in terms of uh, the surface conditions which are there or the spatial guidance which otherwise are going to be there in this case. Let us look another example a road which is being constructed it has a edge marking on both the sides, there is a paved shoulder and then unpaved shoulder, there is a center line marking. So, whatever we have studied we could find that there are things which have been provided here then this marking is uh, though being provided in terms of uh, two parallel lines, but then the gap between those two markings could have been better. So, we have talked about this that minimum gap of 100 mm should have been there. This is one aspect uh, to be looked at here another aspect is the sudden dips which are coming. So, this a perspective when you are driving on this particular road is that you are going again a lot of down dip is there and then if you are trying to visualize something here it gives a feeling that you are going to fall in a valley. So, this type of an alignment actually is not a good alignment if there has been a typical situation arising because of uh, 
the terrain in this area could have been rectified see if it is a drainage issue then could have been rectified by the provision of say a straight profile in this form and the water could have drained across the road while utilizing the natural ground. So, that is means it is again a combination of certain good things, but at the same time certain bad things in terms of alignment. So, when we are talking about all of these things and when you say that the alignment, the one thing which we have talked in the very starting of the alignment is that it should pass through towns and cities and that becomes an obligatory points. But when it passes through a town and city and it crosses the city like this, then there is going to be a lot of traffic because the traffic on this particular segment when you talk about the extremities of this town or a city. So, it will have local plus through traffic. So, local traffic means which is uh, just having the work within the city and the through traffic which has nothing to do with the city and just simply comes from this direction or goes to this one or comes from this direction and goes to this way. So, as to take care of these type of things when you have this through traffic and the amount of through traffic is quite high, then the congestion is going to increase on these local roads or the section of this particular highway which passes through this town or a city. So, in that case it is good that if we provide a bypass and then the bypass is being connected by way of certain roads, not many roads which are having giving an access to the bypass. So, that the traffic which is coming from this direction can move along this and then in this form. So, this is a, a, a thing which also needs to be taken care of in the very starting considering the traffic projections. And these traffic projections are usually done for a certain time period. So, we have to take that also into consideration. Now, here what we can see is that there is a horizontal profile being given. So, this is a, again a plan, but in this plan there is some deviation and this deviation could have been smoothened very easily unless at until this is a outcome of topography. So, if we have the contours of this particular area, then these contours may allow us to provide a smoothened curve like this. So, this is this will help in a sense that now the vehicles can move with the same speed and there is no change of the change in the speed because of this typical sort of an S curve. Now, here when the vehicles are moving on this horizontal curve, then there is going to be a problem of a line of sight. So, this vehicle is moving in this direction and therefore, this is the line of sight. So, anything which is here and if we are considering that distance as say SSD. So, if this is a distance which needs to be maintained and there is an obstruction here. So, this obstruction is creating a problem. So, it has to be shifted down. So, that we get a proper line of sight and this proper line of sight will ensure the visibility of the vehicles which are coming from the other direction and that is or any object which is there on the same path or a roadway on which the vehicle is moving and thus ensure safety. So, this is uh, also an important aspect and we have talked about the setback distance and that we have done in the module 1 itself. Now, here another case is there where is a vertical curve is going to be there and when this vertical curve is there again for this line of sight, this is going to be affected by the curvature of the earth. So, therefore, what we need to do is that we should have a smoothened curve in sense that this line of sight. So, this is being smoothened in this form. So, we can get another, we can visualize another vehicle on the other side if we are talking about an overtaking side distance or a object of a height 0.15 meters when you are talking about the SSD. Now, here uh, what we can see is the cross sectional elements. And these cross sectional elements means you are going to provide this carriageway and this carriageway should have the width based on the type of the users who are going to be there. So, the space 
has to be decided on the basis of that. And then there is a segregation by way of the provision of a median in the center. So, the directional segregation is also being done. Okay. Now, this when this is a thing which is being done and there is a lot of traffic going on, now this may cause a problem of headlight glare. And so, to omit this headlight glare, one thing which can be done is a depressed median. So, we have discussed about the depressed medians, flush medians, raised medians and all of this. So, a wide depressed median once being provided and on the top of that if we have a certain say shrubs or some plants being planted on that. So, they are going to have a height not more than 1.5 meters. So, they are also going to help in the reduction in the glare. Then another thing is that we talked about uh, a case of a forgiving road section. Say we have this slope and this slope is 1 in 2 and if uh, by any chance this vehicle goes out of control, then there is no possibility for this vehicle to come back because the slope is quite high. So, if we have made it a gentler slope, then if anything happens to the vehicle and this vehicle goes out of control and comes on this one, so it has a possibility of coming back on the road. So, that type of a thing also needs to be taken care of. Here what we found is that uh, we have uh, uh, the lanes being provided. So, the lanes are being provided for different type of uh, uh, vehicles and uh, the shoulders is another thing which should have been taken care of, but what is happening here is that uh, there is a uh, uh, shoulder effect is paved shoulder and then uh, the other shoulder if you are looking. So, uh, this is uh, one thing which is has to be looked at that you are providing the paved as well as unpaved shoulder, so that if the high speed vehicles are moving on that, so we can take care of it. Similarly, when you look at a horizontal curve, then the extra widening needs to be provided. So, if uh, that is being taken care of, it is not taken care of, creates a problem, but if it is taken care of, it is fine. And depending on what type of curve it is, you have to look at whether it is to be provided only on the inside or it can be provided on in and out. Here there is another case where uh, uh, we have uh, the different type of users, we have pedestrians, we have cycle rickshaws, so NMT is also there and motorized vehicles are also there. So, it is always better that we segregate them by way of the provision of say the fencing or any such type of a barriers or guardrails etcetera and that the safety of each of the vehicle has been ensured and the hazardous interaction between vulnerable road users and the motorized vehicles has been omitted or reduced. Then this is a design for uh, an intersection, though we are going to take intersections uh, just after this module. So, what we can see is that there is a vehicle coming from this direction and a vehicle coming from this, there is a possibility of a collision and so as to omit that possibility of the collision, it is a good idea that we use a channelization here, so that the paths are being separated for a certain distance and this vehicle comes up to this and then only they are going to merge and by that time they have sufficient knowledge about each other's trajectory and that remains safe. So, here the another thing is that you have a bus and uh, uh, that bus is uh, just is stopping on the carriageway and it is a two lane road only. So, that means a lot of queue is going to happen on the back side when this bus is stops. So, it is uh, better to have a bus B and this is one type of a facility which we are going to discuss in the last module. Here also we see that there is a median here and there is a median here, but this is an open intersection area as well as there are no channelizations on the other side. So, if uh, the things have to be improved in terms of uh, removing or reducing or eliminating the conflict points etcetera, then that needs to be improved upon and that is what is being done here. Again, that is what we are going to discuss in the next uh, module. Then uh, this is uh, another case uh, where you are looking at uh, this total carriageway was provided as uh, one single level carriageway, though there is some uh, things being provided in the center so as to segregate the users like say there are car users on this side or there are bus or truck users on the other side, but these people are vulnerable here and they can be hit by these vehicles which have been taken care of here by way of the provision of a footpath.
Now, here this is a, a crossing location where the people are waiting at this location and this location and they have to go either direction, but what you found is that the footpath is like this rather than that it should have been in this form. So, that type of uh, changeover is required and we discussed about uh, these pedestrian facilities. So, that is where we have talked about it also we, we can continue with those. Now, here you can see it can be considered as a good or a bad design. So, good segregated two roads are being provided with the wide uh, median in the center, but the issue is that there are a lot of animals here, the cattle are here and when they start moving either in this direction or the other direction, then there is always a possibility of any uh, mishap happening and that is that makes it bad. So, it is a combination of a good and bad design. Here in this case what we can see is the issue of a signs, you have a stop sign here and at the same time you have a give way sign here. So, within a short distance we are talking about two things, we are first of all saying you stop here and then when you come here you say you are going to give it, uh, give way to the vehicles or to the traffic which is moving on a main highway. So, both of the things appearing together is not the correct form and we have talked about at what particular distance these things can be provided. So, there is a pedestrian path also. So, with respect to that ahead of it this could have been provided at a certain distance. Okay. So, we have talked about this distance as D which was minimum 1.5 meters either from a stop line or from the giveaway lines being provided like this. So, that is not taken care of. Here what you found is that uh, the curve is going in this direction. So, this is defining it, but uh, now there are two pieces which are being provided and lot many things are being placed together. At the same time these things could have also been on the other side has not been taken care of and so that is uh, a sort of a confusion is being created by way of the provisions of these type of uh, mixing of signs. Here this is a case where a complete straight path is visible, there is a culvert here. So, there should have been a sign that there is a culvert ahead, this should have been cleared to had a good visibility of the these uh, uh, parapets walls of the culverts. So, that is uh, uh, not there. So, this is one issue which uh, needs to be taken care of and at the same time the, the level is also having a problem here. So, the level here and the level here there is a a bit of rise and then a fall uh, could have been taken care of by way of a smooth transitions here. But when you look at this one and when you are standing at uh, this location on this culvert, then this looks like this. What happens is there is a cross road being provided and this cross road is not being defined to the driver when they are coming and looking and for moving at a fast speed because they feel that this is continuous straight alignment then this is a location where the conflict can come and this conflict can be fatal also. Here uh, you have a good type of a channelizations, but uh, what you found is that this is a hidden road here. So, this is a blind turn and because of this blind turn if the vehicles which are coming from this direction and the vehicles coming from this, so this becomes a point of conflict. So, we have to take care of this again. Here there is another case where uh, a facility has been provided for the pedestrians, but the issue is that uh, this is a footpath and here that has been separated out on the uh, this uh, uh, bridge location and when it is being separated out then is still there is a possibility that this is going getting into in this one, there is no edge condition being defined and this may create a problem in terms of a, a collision. Here again what you can see is that the crash barrier is being provided. So, we have talked about the delineators and barriers etcetera, but this should have been at the outer side, the edge is here. So, they have been provided within the edge and that is why anybody can hit on this and again that may culminate into a serious situation. You can see another the type design. 
So, this type design is not good enough. So, what you found is that there are these type of sharp objects if anybody falls on it then there is going to be a fatality and needs to be taken care of that should have been removed and changed at the same time the design of railing is also not good. So, this design of railing allows the person to scale and get to the other side because you have horizontal bars whereas, in the railing design we have discussed that this should have these vertical bars only. In this particular case we have like you can see the type design of a speed breaker which should have been so smooth that is the case in all of these three photographs the issue is that they are being made information sign whereas, this is not information sign. These are the signs where they are talking or cautioning or regulating or, men or making certain prohibitions. So, the prohibitory or the cautionary signs should have been used rather than these information signs. This is an issue here. Similarly, here lot many signs are coming together. We discussed uh, about it and we said that there should be a spacing between the signs and uh, when the two signs are there, the 2 to 3 seconds of travel distance at least could have been there. The location of this stop sign in this case which is at a much distance away. We talked about it should be 1.5 meters to 6 meters. So, could have been somewhere here and because the vehicle is stopping here if then they do not have the visibility of the things happening on the main highway. So, there is again a problem in this case. So, these are the few things which uh, are there which uh, needs to be taken care of. We will continue with these type of some more things in the next interaction till then thank you and bye.